This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Oil prices settled lower on Friday as the rising possibility of a ceasefire deal in Gaza outweighed strong summer fuel demand and potential supply disruptions from Gulf of Mexico hurricanes. Brent crude futures settled down 89 cents, or 1.02% lower, to $86.54 a barrel, after reaching their highest since April earlier in the session. U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crude Futures settled at $83.16 a barrel, down 72 cents, or 0.9 percent. The head of Israel's Mossad has returned from Doha after an initial meeting with mediators trying to reach a Gaza ceasefire and hostage release deal, and negotiations will resume next week, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office said on Friday. China's liquefied natural gas, LNG, use over the peak demand summer months is likely to be capped by increased hydropower generation in the country's south and as rising spot LNG prices prompt cost-sensitive consumers to turn to coal, analysts say. The world's biggest importer of the fuel in June saw heavy rains in the south and heat waves in the north and east. Any heat waves will drive up electricity demand, but China's ability to switch to other power generating resources could limit LNG imports and help to cap price gains across Asia. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector Russia's gasoline production is expected to rise by between 15,000 and 20,000 metric tons in the last third of July as two refineries restart operations, the Energy Ministry said on Friday. Gasoline exports to friendly countries are down 70% from average daily levels in July 2023, the ministry said, despite a ban on exports being waived, while Russia has ample gasoline stockpiles for uninterrupted domestic supply. The ministry said that two oil refineries located in southern and central parts of Russia were wrapping up their planned maintenance. It did not name the plants. Germany said on Friday it will launch the first tender for the construction and modernization of 12.5 gigawatts. GW, of gas power plants that can switch to hydrogen by the end of 2024 or early next year, following industry pressure. The tenders are part of efforts to supplement wind and solar energy and speed up the transition to low-carbon generation as Germany shifts to renewables, having switched off nuclear power. Germany's top utilities, notably RWE, ENBW and Uniper, have long criticized the lack of details for the scheme warning that this could put at risk Germany's plan to accelerate the phase out of coal. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Iron ore prices in top consumer China have held unexpectedly resilient despite rising portside stocks, with some cargo owners reluctant to sell their holdings at a loss, analysts and traders said. Bears built positions betting on a steep price fall triggered by growing stockpiles and slow summer demand. However, Prices of the key steelmaking ingredient have instead jumped above $110 per metric ton, after falling toward the psychologically significant $100 level in late June. Iron ore's portside supply hit a more than two-year high of 148 million tons at end June. This is equal to around 13% of total imports in 2023 and up 27.6% from the beginning of the year, according to information provider Steelhome and China Customs. Copper prices in London hit their highest in more than three weeks on Friday, on course for the first weekly gain in seven weeks, with the outlook for US interest rates supporting sentiment towards growth-dependent metals. Three-month copper on the London Metal Exchange rose 0.7% to $9,946 a metric tonne by 1630 GMT, after hitting $10,000 for its highest since June 12 and testing resistance from its 50-day moving average at $9,993. The contract is up 3.6% this week. U.S. COMEX copper futures gained 2.4% to $4.64 ALB as some players bought back bearish or short positions to reduce their exposure due to expected shipments of copper failing to arrive in the United States. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. 
This year's soft wheat harvest in France is expected to show a yield at an 8-year low and 11% below the 10-year average because of particularly wet weather, Crop Institute Arvalis and Grain Industry Group Interserials said on Friday. The 2024 soft wheat yield in France, the European Union's largest grower of the cereal, is seen at 6.4 metric tonnes per hectare, T per hectare, down 13% from last year, they said in a joint statement. Based on the Agriculture Ministry's latest soft wheat area estimate for the 2024 harvest, at 4.40 million hectares, down 7.3% year-on-year, this would bring the harvest to 28.13 million tonnes, down from 35.1 million tonnes in 2023. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Tradeflow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Tradeflow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.